Almost to eight out Pandora's box. My style's unorthodox. Left handed self talk, right brain self talk. Back when I started busting rhymes, I come in a page. Same time I bust my first nut, coming of age. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Street Defense. My name's Jason, and this is my buddy Adon. And uh, he's my one of my training partners at the USF uh, Club Boxing. So today we're going to cover the front headlock or the guillotine um, and the defenses to that, okay? So we're going to cover two variations, arm in and the arm out guillotine and the differences between the two, okay? So first we're going to cover uh, arm out, okay? So we're going to go this way and he's going to grab me with this arm out guillotine right here. Now the danger of this is if he can really crank up I'm gonna, you know, get choked out. So basically, first we're gonna first get our arm that's closest to the choke, okay? And we're gonna really burrow our hand in. Once we get our hand in there, we're gonna uh, anchor our elbow to our chest, and this is gonna lo loosen up his grip a little bit and buy us some time, okay? So now that we can have some time, we're gonna use our other hand and we're gonna reach over his shoulder just like this, okay? And I'm gonna place it right down on his back, okay? If he has any clothes, I can, you know, grab it. Um, obviously on the street, you know, I can grab the clothes or whatever. And then from here, I'm gonna go towards the side of the arm that I put over his shoulder, okay? I'm gonna go this way. Now the reason for that is if I take him down this way, my head's going face first into that cement, okay? So we're gonna go to the other side, go to the side of the arm that's over the shoulder, just like this, and then from here I can Bend the knee, push him over, take him down. Once he's down on the ground, throw a few strikes and run away. Okay, so just do as much or as 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 much that is necessary to get away from the situation. Okay, um, now we're going to cover the arm in guillotine. So this one's a little tougher. Okay, because so should we? We'll go this way. Yeah, and you'll grab me here. Okay, so if the arm in guillotine. The problem with this is now that I can't. The beginning's the same. Okay. Still want to get this arm in to buy me some time, but now the situation arises that I can't put this arm over his shoulder. You know, I could go this way and I could maybe take him down, but it, it's, and you know, I might be trying to muscle it a little too much, right? So from here, what I'm going to want to do is the way he can finish this guillotine is he gets his hip underneath and he lifts up, right? And really cranks on my neck. So what I do is I take that arm that was supposed to go over his shoulder and we're going to push on his hip and we're going to create this barrier right here. Okay, create this space in between us. Now a dog can't lift up effectively. Trying to lift me? Right, so because his weight's not underneath my neck, he can't lift and choke me. From here, I can throw knees to the groin, to the leg, stomp on the foot. Right, I can hit the groin, whatever I need to do, try to get this, um, break this um, grip apart, dip out over here, or whatever you need to do, you know, hit him, hit him, and run away, okay? So real quick, just to recap, um, we're gonna go for the first one, right, he grabs, arm in, tuck, other arm over the shoulder, get to the side of that shoulder, buck him over, okay? The other one, arm in, he grabs, we're going to push on the hip, create that space. From here, we're going to throw knees, okay? Knees to the groin, knees to the stomach, whatever I need to do, stomp on the legs, break that grip, you know, get him off, throw an elbow, whatever you need to do to get home safely, okay? And uh, those are going to be our two guillotine slash front headlock defenses. And uh, thank you, Adon. Another good episode. Take care, guys. Ironic how in high school I made the high honor roll While I was high honor roll Killing instrumentals, never sentimental But I'll be sentimental institutions For this crazy hell I'm spewing 